The government has suspended the license of Jinshin, a commercial limited a company that uh, deals in the business of scrap metals in Adirivine, which is linked to power lines vandalism. A raid by the police on Monday recovered stolen copper metal weighing 29 kilograms, believed to be from vandalized transformers. One suspect, a Chinese national, was arrested during the raid and is expected to face charges of economic sabotage. Energy Principal Secretary Alex Oshira, who led the operation, announced the suspension at the company premises and warned foreign investors against violating rules, saying they risk being deported and their businesses closed. The war on vandalism in the country today took a different turn after the government suspended the operation license of an international company for alleged involvement in the illicit trade of purchasing vandalized energy infrastructure. Energy Principal Secretary Alex Washira led a delegation from the ministry to stop operations at Jingxin Company in Ati River, where 29.5 kilograms of copper, which was allegedly stolen, was recovered on Monday. There are people who, as we are building the nation, they are destroying the nation. Sisi Tukijenga, Wanabomoa. The unfortunate incident is even to find KPLC marked fuses. The fuses that are used in the uh, transformers, that they are here, not one, not two, several pieces. If you're exporting aluminium and uh, copper, then you need to tell us where you're mining that copper from. This was the second time that the premises were being raided based on information from members of the public. A raid conducted last month by police and officers from the ministry led to the recovery of 105 kilograms of copper and aluminium allegedly from vandalized transformers. The director of ginseng company, Lu Mingui, was arrested, arraigned and released on cash bill. Today we have uh, suspended the license of this uh, Jingzing factory from both uh, dealing in scrap metal and exporting. So as it is now, as we charge them in court and uh, do further investigation, we have suspended the operations. Pia tunatoa onyo kwa yeyote yule nchini Kenya ambaye anajihusisha na scrap ambayo imepatikana kutoka kwa vandalism kuwa we are going to spare no one. Tuta kuja na tutafunga hata kama ni kiwanda. Na kiwanda chochote ambacho pia kinapokea scrap usiku. Washira warned in foreign investors involved in the trade to desist from purchasing vandalized items or else face the wrath of the government, which is not limited to deportation and blacklisting to protect critical infrastructure. We want the suspect charged as soon as possible and if possible, even ex uh, deporting. Uh, cancellation of the license and even deporting, uh, if possible. You are pushing us to a point where we are currently considering uh, putting a moratorium on trade of aluminium and copper. The principal secretary has also hinted at a possible review of the laws to ensure that those found culpable of destroying critical infrastructure are handed the harshest punishment. The ministry says they have been losing an average of one transformer a day.